We had a good chance uh, to chat with Mr. Mayot early in the uh, week here, and boy, you can just tell he's a very passionate, uh, he's very proud of where his group is. It Able to flip it forward through the wickets of Link, collected by Dylan James. The Whoa. second rounder from Whoa. Detroit, who's got such a burst. Dylan James in the back of the net. Deadly on the rush. one nothing North Dakota. Did you hear me say, woo, Alex? You can <laughs> see, look at this burst of speed. He just put the Jets on right here. Watch this. Whoop. He just zips right by the defenseman. Jack Mular gets caught flat-footed. This here just puts the Jets on Mylanta. And then he just lifts that right over the blocker there. That is as fast of a quick transition in speed as I've seen out of someone. Logan Will firing just wide. You know, as good as North Dakota has been with those guys, kind of have an offensive zone, still a little cute and just off a little bit. And Oh, Louis Chabernick! Nothing off about that! James to Chabernick to double the advantage! Well, an excellent job. Making something out of nothing right here. You're going to see Garrett Pike driving that in, just chips it in, and it's Dylan James who just gets pinned against the wall, and he somehow gets it on the backhand, slips that thing right through. It's just an excellent job by James to get this puck through over to Jamernick, and he was ready right between the skates right there, and it goes. Gained a little steam, so hopefully they continue playing hard here, and uh, we'll see you after two. All right, Alex and Jake, we'll take it back to you. Thank you, Taylor and Jordan. 2-0, number one North Dakota, out in front of Colorado College, who was receiving votes in the USCHO.com poll this past week. Jerry Cross, the outstanding sports information director for the Tigers, had a stat that CC's not been ranked since 2012. I couldn't believe that. They've had some good teams in recent seasons, and they have got a goal here. Jack Millar, the senior defenseman, able to beat Person. Back to a one-shot hockey game, 2-1. Well, good job there, uh, making up for that first goal that he was on the ice on. Just a great job, and you talk about the goaltender getting in front, and right there, I think Persons, or uh, that big person, not sure if he picks this up, but it's a good job with the, oh, it tips in front, yes. It looks like it goes up and north. It's for the Tigers. 46 seconds left on the Johannes penalty, 33 seconds left now in the period. Watch that guy right there. Burke Holder. Goes through everybody. It was Vremiev waiting back door. Beck now takes over. A great creative player, the sophomore, whips it around. The one-timer by Burkholder gets by. Power play goal for the Tigers. Their first in forever on the man advantage. And we are tied at two apiece. Well, you felt like the opportunity was there as they were getting healthier and they had those uh, opportunities and the chances it felt like it was coming and right here just a good job putting that in the wheelhouse and going across the grain this person's moving over from his left to his right just goes over through that angle a shade too much but this put shot is absolutely put where it needs to go time for one more chance held up at the neutral zone beck is there and that is going to do it for regulation tonight. Overtime on the way from the Ralph. North Dakota outs, outshoots CC 11 to nothing in the third period. But Embarico and company able to keep the number one team in the country at bay. It is a Buffalo Wild Wings overtime coming your way next here from the Ralph. Berg to take the face off and he gets the win. He will come off and be replaced by McLaughlin. This has been the recipe for success for North Dakota in these situations. Here is Owen McLaughlin gaining the zone with speed. He'll send it up to Blake who had the overtime game winner when these two met in Springs last year in game number one. Blake with three overtime game winners to his career. Loses the puck though, Lava. Combining with Foley to win it for the Tigers. Here comes Noah Lava now, the sophomore with speed. Lava trying to cut it in, and he finds the back of the net. Overtime game winner for Noah Lava.
Well, an excellent job. I know Alaba just to take open ice and space and just drive it to the net. He lowers that right shoulder and person gets caught a little deep in his net and gives out that glove side low glove area. Alaba takes what's going to be given to him right here. See that open ice and he just drives. You got McLaughlin who's not a defenseman trying to defend him. Wonder if that doesn't go off of McLaughlin's stick as he's trying to poke that puck. Watch McLaughlin's stick right here. I think this pokes off of it or deflects potentially, but again, that's a good job of a player knowing that a def you, you got a guy back that's a forward trying to play defense and just does a good job driving to the net and puts that over person for a huge overtime win. So two points for the Tigers tonight, one for North Dakota. That snaps that 15-game winless skid that CeCe had against UND.